What's up, tennis players? Coach Jeff here, coming to you with another tennis doubles tactics video. This is going to be a quite an extensive series on tactics and strategies that you can use to win more in doubles. So now, in this video, we're going to go over another tactic that you need to be doing when you're in this one up, one back position. And I don't want to sound like a broken record, but just keep in mind, this is not how you want to be for very long. In fact, if it was up to me, and I know certainly a lot of the players I end up developing, if all things are equal, they're returning and coming in. They need to have a good reason not to return and come in. And in fact, almost anyone can learn how to serve in volley. So you should really, unless your serve is crap and they're crushing the return, you should really be trying to serve and get to the net too. But we have to face the reality, one up, one back tennis is the way it's played, so let's take care of business. And if you're wondering why you need to get both players up to the net, make sure you check out the video in the description, how and why to be at the net, why it's good to be up there. So in this video, we're going to pay particular attention to these two players that are up, and we're going to talk about kind of the movement pattern that they should be doing. And it's very simple. Um, these players have a very important role, a mental role, a physical role, a winning role. Um, whenever your partner's hitting, you're, you're being cautious. So you're going to be a little bit further back. Um, whenever your opponent's hitting, you're really going to be kind of pinching the middle, looking to get that poach. It's so important to do that. You need to be pressuring your opponent. You need to be making their target smaller. You need to make sure that they know that you're there. So basically, whenever your opponent's hitting, you're up looking to try to get that ball. And then whenever your partner's hitting, you're back with your eyes shifted to this player to see if they're going to be able to poach the ball. And basically what happens is you end up doing this little dance, this little movement dance that I see a lot of people do sometimes, and I hear it referred to as a triangle. I don't know if it's exactly a triangle, but um, they're, just, they're just dancing around. They don't actually know why they're doing it. But remember, you're up trying to poach. Don't just go up, move up, and then watch a ball pass by your face. You actually have to try to poach that ball if you're up. And now you can't, and then you're going back. So you're going up and back constantly. And this is really one of the reasons in doubles as partner of the net player, sorry, as partner of the baseliner up at the net, you should be getting a workout even if you never get to hit a ball. This little dance is very physical. Um, and you're coming off the court sweating, and it, it's, a, it's a physical game if you're, if you're moving right up there. And it very much relates to the role of the partner of the returner. Um, if you're returning serve, uh, your partner's hitting essentially. So this person has the first opportunity to poach. So they serve. Um, obviously, you can't poach the serve, so they serve. This person has the first opportunity to poach, so they're going to be closer. You're going to be a little further back. So the partner of the returner, by the way, your first job is to make the call, uh, but then your second job, your eyes immediately go to the partner of the returner and see if they came over and poached that ball. Hopefully have a good partner and they got their return cross court enough away from them so they were not able to. And then what are you doing? As soon as you see the ball pass the partner of the server, you're immediately moving up into this position. And again, you're looking to poach. Oh, but you can't. Uh, they get it back cross court. Now you're back. So just remember this little movement pattern here is so important in doubles. Now really, the only way to do it is to just do it. You got to spend time making sure you're comfortable at the net volleying, you're comfortable, comfortable moving all directions up at the net. And then also keep in mind, if you have a good doubles partner and you come across and you try to poach a ball and you miss it in the net, if your partner doesn't immediately run over to you and give you a high five and say, good try partner, then they probably don't know how to play good doubles either. You got to support your partner. If you go and you try to poach that ball and you miss, you sent a message to that, to that opponent. You said, hey, I'm here. I'm taking all of this area of the court, I'm making your target smaller, and it's that mental advantage that, trust me, it's going to pay off in the end. All right, doubles players, that's the third video in our series, Tennis Doubles Tactics and Strategy. 
Um, if you're enjoying the videos, please let me know in the comments. Also, please subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, like the video. It's the best way to support this YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.